In this video I'm going to prove six um, basic identities. Um, identities are not equations, you don't have to solve them, you have to prove that they're the case. An identity you've always known is that x plus x equals 2x. doesn't matter what x is, um, x plus x is 2x. Now, in uh, trigonometry, um, when you're proving identities, you must adopt a certain device. My first example will be to prove this. Um, the triple equals is to help you remember that it's an identity, but you uh, can't always rely on that being there. Now the device is to pick either the left hand side or the right hand side and try and turn it into the other. Uh, you're not allowed to do red dudes because it's not an equation. You just have to use a combination of algebraic manipulation, so expansion of brackets, adding fractions, that sort of thing. And um, substitutions. Now your substitutions you get to use are these. If you see a sine squared, squared theta plus a cos squared theta, you get to replace it with a 1. If you see a 1, you can replace it with a sine squared theta plus a cos squared theta. If you see a tan theta, you can reply, replace it with a sine theta over a cos theta. If you see a sine theta over cos theta, you can replace it with a tan theta. They enable more than just four replacements because you can also rearrange them. If you see sine squared theta, you can replace it with 1 minus cos squared theta. If you see a cos squared theta, you can replace it with a 1 minus sine squared theta. So that's this becoming this, that's 1, this becoming this, that's 2, this becoming this, that's 3, this becoming this, that's 4, this becoming this, that's 5, this becoming this, that's 6, this becoming this, that's 7, this becoming this, that's 8. So already, just from these two basic facts, we've got 8 possible replacements. From this, you can say that cos um, theta tan theta, that can be replaced with sine theta and sine theta can be replaced with cos theta tan theta. Equally, um, cos theta can be replaced with sine theta over tan theta and sine theta over tan theta can be replaced with cos theta. So I think we've actually got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 possible replacements. Um, so I'm going to try and turn this into this. Um, I often pick the more complicated side and try and turn it into the simpler side because it's more consistent with the training um, that I've received over the years, which has always been to try and make stuff simpler rather than making stuff more complicated. Now the device I mentioned before is to name the left hand side or the right hand side, literally write LHS for left hand side, and then do a combination of algebra or substitutions. My first move is going to be a um, expansion of that bracket. Then I'm going to cancel these two terms. And then I'm going to use the replacement that I wrote up here. 1 minus sine squared, 1 minus cos squared can become, sorry, 1 minus sine squared can become cos squared. And then you're done because that is the right hand side. Okay, so that's the first question. Second question, I'm going to prove that 1 plus tan squared alpha cos squared alpha equals 1. I'm going to try and turn the left into the right. Left hand side equals, first move is the expansion of a bracket. My next move is to replace tan squared with what this says it is. I'm now going to apply the squaring to both the top and the bottom of that fraction. I'm now going to do a cancellation there. And now I'm going to use the fact that sine squared plus cos squared theta equals 1, which is the right hand side, which means we're done. Third question. I'm going to prove that sine a plus cos a all squared 
is equal to 1 plus 2 sine A cos A. I'm going to try and turn the left and to the right. I'm going to expand this. The palm, square the first, square the last, twice the product of the first and last. Um, that is equal to 1. So we're done. Question number four. I'm going to prove that cos squared x minus sine squared x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Um, over here, I said that you can always replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared. You can always replace cos squared with 1 minus sine squared. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace... Um, so I'm going to check the left-hand side. I'm going to replace cos squared x. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to replace this with 1 minus cos squared x equals... Um, I'm now going to expand that bracket. I'm now going to realize that this has um, backfired a little um, because that doesn't look anything like that. One thing you can do now um, which is not breaking the rules because it's not red dudes is to cut your losses and work with the other side because I work with them separately um, and they came out to be the same thing I can say that I've done. The reason is because therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side because they're both equal to this third thing. I'll just do another two questions. I'll prove that 3 cos squared theta minus 2 equals 1 minus the sine squared theta. Um, so I'm going to try and turn the left hand side into the right hand side. Um, I'm going to replace 1 minus, um, I'm going to replace cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. I'm going to expand that bracket. So it's done. And the sixth one I'm going to try is I'm going to try and prove that cos x to the power 4 plus cos squared x sine squared x is exactly identical to cos squared x. I'm going to start with the left hand side. I'm going to start by factorizing it. That is equal to 1. So we're done.